So the final thing that we need to do before you get started formally working with Scratch is to have you all create accounts with the Scratch website. Uh, this is going to be done for management of, of some of your projects and may, to make it easier for you to share your projects with us. It's something that you don't necessarily have to do if you want to just play with Scratch. And so your students are not going to be required to create these accounts, uh, but it is something that we're going to ask you to do. Uh, and in the long run, we find that most teachers do ask their students to make really basic accounts. Uh, and we can talk more about that when we late in the, in the course when we talk about management of, of teaching Scratch with students. But we need to get you to create accounts. So the way you do that is to come here to the upper right hand corner of Scratch where you'll see it says sign in. And we're going to click on that. And then if you already have an account, and, and some of you may already have accounts from fiddling with this on your own, you can go ahead and sign in uh, here under your credentials. Or come over here and say, I want to join Scratch. Again, these accounts are free. They're simple to make. Um, and you can use whatever you want. Scratch is really big on preserving privacy. They understand that, that the students who are using this, many of them uh, don't necessarily follow, don't, don't fit the, the above 13 rules. And there's all sorts of, I, you, you guys know it better than I do, about you know, giving uh, personal information away on the internet. This is pretty well hidden. So I'm going to actually just create a new account that I'm going to use for this course. So we're going to call it you and I scratch is what I'm going to call mine. And I'll type in my password here. And then it is going to require that I give some information here. And again, that's going to make some people nervous. Uh, if you're using the students, make stuff up. Uh, I don't care. But let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and put my actual information in here, right? And that I'm in the United States. And I'm going to give my email address. This is. Uh, and now we're all ready to go, right? And so now you'll notice that when I, when I look at this up here in the right-hand corner, oops, it's going to reload on me. Up here in the upper right-hand corner, it says you and I scratch, which is just that name, uh, username that I created. And so what's nice about this is then if you move to a different machine, if I move to a different machine, I can put this information in and come back to this account. And then you'll see then as I, as I work with, with Scratch over the next uh, couple of modules here that my work will automatically be saved under this account. Uh, and so again, please go ahead and take the time to make that account at this time. Now that you've explored the Scratch website for a little bit and you've formally registered with the Scratch website, it's time to move on. And in the next lesson, we'll actually begin programming in Scratch by exploring some very basic uh, introduction to the movement commands.